Hi, this is Kevin with Naples Lawn Service, coming to you from Naples, Florida. And today we're going to talk about our FL1061 flail mower, new from Frontier and John Deere. So this is our new flail mower that Frontier just came out with. Uh, before this, you'd have to get an aftermarket uh, made by Machio or somebody else. Uh, John Deere and Frontier just, I, from what I understand, they acquired Machio. And so you can see right here on this name tag that it's a, basically a Machio flail mower, but now John Deere acquired them and painted this one green and so now they have their own flail mower that they offer brand new for 2024 and you can get these flail mowers in either uh, 61 or 53 uh, this one's the FL 1061 so it's a 61 inch flail mower uh, it's uh, gonna find it in the, I think they list it for like $4,550 or something retail and then the 53 is a little bit cheaper than that and you can get these with either knife blades or hammer blades the knife blades are going to do a little little finer the hammer blades going to be for a rougher type of terrain you can look under here and you can see these these knife blades that are attached to this uh, what they look like these can be changed out to hammer blades and when these wear out you can just change you can just put new knife blades on there I think it has like 30 something but that's what does, does your cutting right there those knife blades now you've got a choice when you want to cut rough stuff or tall grass you can use your flail mower or you can use your bush hog over here okay the bush hog is going to cut everything up and kind of leave piles as you go all around. It's going to cut the stuff, but like I say, you're going to have piles. There's no discharge of, of this. Okay, the flail mower goes round and round and actually mulches everything up and just leaves a fine mulch bed as you go. It's not going to leave piles like the bush hog. So that's your two choices. And we're going to see how this works on some tall grass and some brush. We're going to show you here in a few minutes. All right, we're going to try it on this type of weeds right here. It's not too thick. It's not too tall. But we'll go ahead and try some different types of terrain and show you what happens. So as you can see this grass and the weeds is about 15 16 inches tall at the most and that's what we're cutting right now all right now just for comparison i'm going to cut this with my 72 inch john deere 950m and uh we're just going to see what the difference is <laughs> Alright, 
so that's with his zero turn it is going to blow out clumps okay they're going to blow it out the side you can see all that right there um, well, it didn't quite mulch it up it just blew out big patches which you would have to go back over a second time and uh see it didn't really mulch this up just left it now you can certainly go over a second time you can and uh, it would do it your zero turn would do a, a good job but you are going to have to it's not mulching it up so back to the flail mower area that we cut you can see there it didn't blow out any clumps off the side or leaf clumps underneath at all mulched it all up really good and it's all even there's nothing to, nothing to go back over really so uh now we're going to try it on some rougher terrain. Okay, let's try some small trees that we might want to get rid of. problem at all. This is what you got left. A bunch of mulch and this stuff was probably about a, I don't know, inch or three quarter inch in diameter or something like that. But Took them right out and mulched them right out. Okay, we saw what would happen with the trees. We're going to try some palm frond branches. Down here in South Florida we got these palm frond branches and pus that falls off the trees. Let's see what happens. So as you can see here, it just pulverized that stuff into nothing and left us nothing. And now I'm just going to do a quick pass down here. These are called dog ferns, these trees. They're, they're not a big deal, but I'll just show you what happens with that. Okay, we're going to go a little taller, a little thicker now. We'll try these scraggling bush back here.
car here and put it down here and just made mulch out of it. conversion kit from John Deere in the meantime these two bolts just need to be moved up normally these bolts are are like here and here but if you're gonna run this implement you're gonna have to move those bolts to here and here uh, to have that that hook lined up conversion kit supposed to be coming so you don't have to move these bolts up and down and then they had to do something a little bit different with these bushings too uh, to make it iMatch compatible. So it's not exactly iMatch compatible. You do have to have a conversion kit and some extra things. Now as far as trailering, this flail mower would be easier than the bush hog. Okay, this flail mower from your iMatch to back here is only about 30 inches. Okay, maybe just a hair more. So it would go on a smaller trailer. Your bush hog down here from your iMatch to your back wheel, you gotta have about 86 inches. Okay, so if you're trailering, you gotta have that much, another 50 inches longer of a trailer if you wanna hook up your bush hog versus using the flail mower. So there you have it, that's our new FL1061 flail mower from John Deere Frontier. And I uh, hope you liked the video. You can hit the like button if you want and you can subscribe. We're going to have a lot more videos coming out.